Welcome, folks, to this James C. Weekly webinar. It's November 23rd, 2022. This is one of my favorite webinars, Features to be Thankful for, where we're going to explore different features that James C. Uh, support staff and users like. It's a great brief video to introduce you to some features that you might not be using. So let's get right into it. I'm Paul. I'm the lead trainer at James C. Used to be a teacher in the James C. for, gosh, almost 20 years now. Uh, I love helping schools use James C. efficiently to save time. Um, and you know when I when I talk to schools about JMC, what I say what the reason people like JMC is we save you minutes every day with these features, hours a week, and days and days of time throughout the year. Um, and so this the purpose of this particular one is to say, hey, here's some features you might not be using. You should be using them to save you time. So we've got a large team today. I'm just gonna people introduce themselves, tell us who they are, and um, and just kind of what school they're with or if they're with JMC. So let's start with Denise. Why don't you start and tell us just briefly about yourself, Denise? Hi, I'm Denise Drew, and I worked for 25 years at the Lanesboro School District, and then I was at Fillmore Central School for a year, so I'm familiar with the office side of JMC and love it. Great. And Lois, how about you? Hi, everyone. I'm Lois Tyler. Um, I work at a district in Northeast Iowa, West Central Community School District, and I'm also uh, part-time at JMC. So yeah, I know more of the office side. Um, but now I get a little bit of everything. Lisa, I'm sorry, Lois and Lynn and Lisa are all part-time JMC, full-time awesome. Lynn Evans, <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, my name is Lynn Evans. I'm a former teacher, coach, uh, high school principal, elementary principal, and for 16 years, I was a superintendent. I have uh, 35 years in educational experience. Uh, currently, uh, in addition to my client service specialist duties with JMC, I'm a adjunct instructor for Buena Vista University. I drive school bus and most recently am a senator elect in the state of Iowa. Absolutely, I love that Lynn, that's great. Looks like my donation helped you along that uh, along the way there, huh? It absolutely, absolutely. put me over the top. <laughs> that's right, absolutely. All right, and Lisa Daly, why don't you tell us a bit about yourself? Gosh, that's a hard act to follow. <laughs> it's a hard um, act to follow. <laughs> I'll take a donation too, Paul. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I am a former English teacher and coach, now turned um, school counselor for K-12, and I'm also working part-time for JMC. Great. Thanks, Lisa. And Cheryl, tell us a bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Cheryl Cole, and I am the executive assistant at Cross Lake Community Schools in downtown Cross Lake, Minnesota. I have been here for four and a half years, dabbled in JMC as the former administrative assistant. And now I'm hot and heavy in just about every aspect of JMC and um, just anything I can learn helps me every single day. So absolutely. yeah, absolutely. I enjoy Great. this. Yeah, Cheryl, thanks for joining us and thanks for the whole team. Let's get right into it. So 2022 has been a tremendous year for growth, for new features and innovations, and for helping our partner schools succeed with technology. Today, we want to hear from you. What are some of your favorite features and innovations in JMC? How they helped you succeed in your role? And so people can just unmute themselves if they want. If you have a question, you can send it in. We don't really have a section in this, this, uh, this part, but if you've got a feature that you want to submit or something like that, uh, or just chime in, you sure can use the Q&A chat feature. So sharing your favorite features. Question number one, and people can just go and say, hey, this is so-and-so. What is uh, what, what JMC feature are you the most thankful for? And I'll actually kick this off um, and say, because we actually had a person, Matt Dexter from Harbor City International School, couldn't join us today. He's got a cold. Um, but he says the credit checker. Um, the credit checker in JMC, and I like to just show people briefly here, is found under um, grading, credit checker, you can put in the graduation credit requirements for your students, and then they can print a report for themselves in the JMC student portal, JMC family portal, or you can print it as well. So it's just a great way, to, instead of pulling out student transcripts, you can actually put all the requirements in there and then students can see and you can see with a click of a button what students are, um, what they've achieved and what they're deficient in as well. So who else has a feature they'd like to share that they're thankful for? This is Lisa in yeah. Oak Lane, and I would echo that. I feel like when I went to the summer conference this past time, and I think the gal that you had in the credit checker Wednesday webinar, yes. I actually met her in one of those breakout sessions, and she walked me through setting it up. 
Yep. And it has changed my life as a school counselor. <laughs> yep. It is be- it is beautiful. I just, I, I really don't know why I did what I did for years and didn't try that sooner. Yeah, it's an awesome feature. I don't see it. It's, it's, we just did it actually in the last week or two, which is the teacher conference center. It's an awesome, awesome um, feature there as well. So thanks, Lisa. Anybody else got a feature they're thankful for? Hi, this is Cheryl. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Mine is just going to be the whole package combined. It is the support that I get, whether I call or email, uh, from all of your your texts that support me personally. That is, that's the thing I'm most thankful for is I can pull this off because of those folks. Yeah, Joe and Eric and yep. Lois and Denise and uh, Jake and the whole crew. You can contact yep. us at our phone number. You can email us. And this in, in programs chat is just awesome. We actually do not, we don't put this in there. This dynamically fills in. And almost every day, somebody's going to reply to you in under or around 10 minutes, which is totally awesome. Matt Dexter also said he gets every question answered in typically 30 minutes or less. Um, we're there to help you. And that's awesome there as well. So thanks for that, Cheryl. Lynn, Lois, Denise, anyone that you're thankful for? Yeah, this is Lynn. Yeah. Uh, if you've tuned in uh, last year, I apologize because it's going to be pretty that's, similar. Yeah. Uh, I love the message center. Yeah, absolutely. And Paul's heard me say that a number of times. Yep. It saves me time. Uh, in, well, you always think of it as an emergency situation, but the ways you can use our message center to communicate with your school community is only limited by your imagination. Yeah, it's amazing because not only can you send out voice messages, recorded phone calls, which builds relationships. I tell people this all the time. If you send out voicemails on a regular basis as a superintendent, principal, director, or whatever of your school, when people walk in the school who've never met you before, they'll say, I know your voice. That alone is important because families choose schools based a lot on relationships they have with teachers and the administration. Number two, you can stop by these different groups. And Lynn and I have talked about many times, route bus number, huge, huge saver, if you, time saver. If you get a bus that's got a flat tire, parents get pretty stressed pretty quick. You can send an email, text, and a phone number to everybody riding bus number 14A and send out that message. And they're gonna start to get those messages in a very short amount of time. We added in this year by random contact before we had just by random student. Now you wanna look up a parent and send out that information. You can send it out that way as well. So it's really great. And Lynn, I know again, we're, we've talked about this before, but in the message center, you said you used it when you were having a school referendum to keep your families informed. Is that right? Absolutely. We were able to push information out on a regular basis. And uh, I guarantee that it passed. Uh, it was overwhelming that it passed by 80%, but I know it was because of our communication, largely using the message center. Absolutely. The other thing before I ask Lois and Denise if they have any features as well, in the JMC teacher portal, people don't always remember that they also can use the message center as well. It's in their item called message center here. They can send out by course, by random students, advisory group, activity, flex offering or tag, email, text message, or both as well. Let your teachers know. Send out a text message once a week. Tell your families what you're doing in class. Keep them informed as well. Great. Denise, Lois, any of the ones you want to add? Well, I'm thankful that they have updated the list. So attendance student list. Yes. That they have made it so you can... Uh, reposition them yep in here is that right is that what you're talking about uh denise so you can come right. in yeah. so you go in there and you add birth date name grade yep. oh darn i wanted grade first uh you can just click the arrow up yes and that's super helpful I've never used that feature. That's how new it is. I love that feature. So you can come in and you can create these right here. You can also save those reports, right? You can look at a new report or use a saved report for later. It's an awesome feature. And now being able to rearrange these makes it so that you don't have to say, oh, I've got 17 items here. I'm going to export to a spreadsheet and rearrange it. Rearrange it right in here as well. And if you don't want something, I think you just click the X there and that will take it off of there as well. So really handy a tool. This student list feature allows you to create darn near any report you want. You could go into your school and say, 
I want to know all of the kids that ride bus 13 that have a GPA of 3.0 or higher have had less than three absences semester one. And I want to know their birth date and I want to know their locker number sorted by their, oh, I don't know, um, grade level or birth date. You can get that type of report in here as well. So great, Denise. I love it. Lois, did you want to add one as well or no? Yeah, my go-to in the last couple of years has been the teacher conference scheduler. It just oh, saves yeah. me a ton of time. Absolutely. That teacher conference schedule allows families to go in and they can sign up for teacher conferences uh, right inside their JMC family portal. Uh, really an easy way to be able to do that as well. We made lots of great updates on that this year, and I think we'll be making some updates next year as well. All right, let's keep on rolling here. Number two is what JMC feature do you think everyone should take advantage of? I'm going to start again with Matt Dexter. He, was, he said he can't be with us, but he said the attendance... Um, um, uh, notification settings is one that he said said saved tons of time. And what that means is, um, and maybe that would be for the next one to save time, but they all, it's all about saving time. But under the message center, this is a little subset of the message center, the um, attendance notification settings, you can say, I want a phone call to go out to all of my families and my kids who are unexcused at whatever time of the day you want. It's going, to, it's going to read off a message that sounds something like your student, Paul Freed, is absent period one or period two or whatever period it is. And then it's going to read off this message right here. It calls every family in the state of Iowa. This is required by law. That's why I put it in. But anybody in any of our, I think it's 12 or 13 states that we service can use this feature uh, as well, because now you don't have to pick up the phone and call everybody as well. So Denise, Lois, Lynn, Cheryl, Lisa, any other feature that you think that everyone should take advantage of that they might not have, not, might not be aware of? Uh, one that I tell every administrator that they need to become familiar with is the admin, admin dashboard. Absolutely. That gives you a quick snapshot of different things that are going on in your building that saves you time from having to look up or asking your office to look up on a regular basis. Yeah, this admin dashboard allows you to come in. It's going to show everybody in the school or say, I want to look at just my 10th graders. And within that 10th grade group, you can see all the kids listed here. You can sort by their GPA. You can sort by their um, number of absences. Like, so if you come right here and say, all right, who's got the most tardies in this grade level? I can click on this right here. It's going to show me the least amount of tardies, then the low, well, I don't have any tardies in here, apparently. My 10th grade is doing well this year. But you can sort by this, by discipline referrals. For each kid, you can come in and you can look up their contact information right here. You can email all the teachers of this student now that's been added this year. And you can click on the I next to a student's name and that's gonna show you the student scope information for you there as well. So we tied the student scope where you have six pieces of information for a student all on this one page. So that file admin dashboard, a lot of things going on there. Why do we call it the admin dashboard? It's meant for administrators to have a dashboard to see overall how people are doing set early at-risk settings, and also have the quick links on the right-hand side, such as the teacher gradebook login, where they can log into any teacher's gradebook without knowing their username and password. So really awesome feature there as well. Great. And, All right. And that early at-risk warning is amazing. Yeah, tell us about it real quick. What, what, do you, what does it do for an administrator? Well, you can, you can uh, get a, if you want to click on that page yeah. for a tab, uh, you can color code, uh, discipline referrals, absences, uh, low grades. You can schedule an alert to go out and it'll go out the same time. You can send it to multiple people. So if a counselor, yep. uh, at-risk coordinator, whoever needs to get this, they get that every time, same time of day. So if there's any changes, it's right in front of you. Uh, you don't have to go look them up. It, JMC sends it right to you. Yep. You don't have to even run the report. It does it for you. So great, Lynn. I appreciate that. Anybody else? Uh, Cheryl again. Yeah. I am going to say your little envelope guy. I know it's got a certain name, but it takes yeah. me to your library. Well, yeah. I can manage my own little questions before I actually have to go uh, send send a message to one of your staff people. Yeah, I, I actually use, even as a JMC longtime user, I'll come here and search the articles and look yeah. for things here I can put in. How do I, you know, I'm trying to think what I was looking for last week. I can't remember what it was, but how do I email report cards, right? 
I can look at that there and it's going to find the email and report card feature in JMC Office. I also like in conjunction with that, that you can click visit the help center and that opens it up in a new window. Some users like the directions right in here, right? So if you came here and you said, I went to um, grading, reports, report cards, I could do that and then bring up in here the directions I need to email report cards here. So it's right inside the program. So if I put in here, email report cards, it's going to bring this up. Here we go. And that's going to show me how to email report cards. Step one, step, or actually this is an overview of this as well. So that's really helpful in there as well. And if that's not the article I want, here we go. Print or email course grades in James Office. This is the one. I can go step one, step two, step three. Some people like that. It's all what, you know, it's what your preference is. I kind of like to look it up in a different one. So I can come in here and said email um, report cards. And I can see it um, right there. You don't even have to spell it correctly. <laughs> All right, uh, that's my uh, my spelling there, but um, it will it will find it based on the best um, best guess that that has there. But then I can come here, and I can have it open in this screen, and I can come back here again. Whatever you want to do, we make it easy both ways. So thanks, Cheryl. All right, Denise or Lois or Lisa. Well, I can tell you one of my favorite um, items when I was in the office was the View Student Data Screen. Mm -hmm. If a student was absent. I didn't have to uh, email individual teachers. You can go over to the quick link. Yes. The teachers, Paul Freed is gone today. Yep. That's all I'd have to put in there, you know, pretty much. And then they would all have the email as well, as opposed to it. I mean, yes, it in the office, you can mark them absent and they will know that way too. But a lot of times they'll be like, you know, you could just say they're sick or whatever, and it'll answer all their questions. Yeah. And you can also say, please bring homework to the office, which is yes. off request. Yep, and one feature we added in la last year is we now insert the student's name in the subject of the email automatically, so you don't have to type it in there. All those things save you little bits of time throughout the day as well. So it'll have all of your teacher's names listed there. And also, maybe it was two years ago, we added the feature, and we only sent it to the feature, excuse me, the teacher's of the current term. So if they've got eight teachers SEM 1 and eight teachers semester 2, and you're in SEM 1, it's only going to send those SEM 1 teachers. Huge time saver. So great. Denise, I appreciate that. Lois or Lisa, do you have anything you want to add? Um, I would say the online course registration mm -hmm. for scheduling with students, walking them through that and having the students input that. And then the other one I would say is just the notification settings. Now that the students can establish their own, in addition yep. to the ones we've been using for families, yep. it really holds the students accountable and makes them have a, a mature view of their life, even if they don't want to log into JMC. <laughs> Absolutely. So if I come here and I do my student here, I'm just going to show really quickly. So overall, the JMC student portal underutilized, right? Um, I think it was more utilized during COVID for people to keep up to date on their information. But the two things that you said is that they can now come in and they can register for their courses. So I don't have mine open, but for the 22-23 school year, they can, or excuse me, yeah, 22, 23, they can register for their own courses next year online without doing it all on paper. And then you also talked about how we have now here on the uh, alert configuration, they can sign up. I'm in a student. I'm a, a, a 10th grade student, John McElroy. I can sign up to receive for myself email alerts when I marked absent or tardy. I can receive email alerts if I'm missing or a late score. And you know, when this first was required request, I was like, well, kids should know already, but it's like, you know what, kids are busy. Um, uh, especially your kids are in lots of activities. This is a way for them to keep up to date. Did I miss an assignment? Did I fall below a certain percentage there as well? So great, Lisa, I appreciate that. Lois, did you have one or should we keep on rolling? Um, I almost just wanna echo um, the one with the help center because I sometimes copy and paste those to teachers and that kind of leads to the YouTube channel. I like how, how up to date the YouTube channel is because that's an easy reference you know sometimes teachers come in or at the beginning of the school year I copied and pasted one I was like here check this one out you know yeah it's it's great that and you know the the help center is right in there the YouTube channel you have to go to JMC or to YouTube search JMC training that will take you to all these videos that are there and you can come here and you can put in um, this little search item um, and I can put in credit checker and it will allow you to bring up here we go, creating the credit checker. And it has that, that video that's listed right there for you. So really helpful right inside the program that we have. So love those resources that we have. All right, last item. 
what feature saves you the most time? What feature saves you the most time? Now, one that um, was just requested and um, uh, that people probably don't even know about because it was just released probably in the last week or two is now, and this might not save somebody the most time, but it's about saving little bits of time in the JMC teacher program. So I'm in the grade book. Teachers now under classroom attendance to either enter attendance or under scores to assignment scores, a uh, little feature was requested here, or when you click on the I next on a student's name or the pencil, if they've got a special ed program listed there, um, their, their student email is listed there. So you sure can email the whole group or a student through the message center. But if you just wanna look it up and send a quick message from your own email program, that's listed right there as well. And I think that this is um, a times here for, for office people because office people can let your teachers know, hey, you can see a kid's birth date, their cell phone number, their email, their password to go online, um, to register. So they can see special ed comments and contact information. It's all, and their siblings, all that is listed right inside the program for you. You never need to ask the office there as well. So who else has got a feature that saves them lots of time? Anybody have any left? Um, one thing I would comment is, you know, the registration process used to get like every administrative assistant, you know, administrators, the counselors, everybody yep. you know, like, sat in the cafeteria from eight in the morning to eight at night. And we went through piece of paper by piece of paper with all of our families. So now that we can do online registration, which includes like the payment, being able to sign forms. Yep. I mean, I think all of us would testify to that has definitely changed things here. Yeah, absolutely. And I always tell folks that do the first year, it takes some time to get families used to it, right? So there's a little growing pains the first year. But after the first year in particular, when families can go in and just review their custom fields, review health custom fields, fill out their digital equity questionnaire, sign any forms, look at their lunch balance, make payments online, look at uh, tuition fees, make payments online, fill out their free and reduced letter online. It is a huge time saver and it relieves a lot of stress. The last thing I tell people, Lisa, is that there's some families that don't have computers at home. There's some families that have English as a second language. They can't do all this. But instead of that person being stuck in line like they were five years ago with a hundred other families that want to rush through. Now you have a day for them to come in and you can have your interpreter there, or you can have somebody sit down and walk them through it because 80% of the families are doing it online or 90%. You can have extra time for the families that need some extra love. So thanks, Lisa. Anybody else? I'd like to just uh, mention the coach advisor app. Mm -hmm. I think if uh, your school district that has some coaches or advisors that work outside of your system, that's a huge time saver for them. And there's also uh, different applications that uh, you can use that app for, but I won't go into great detail today on that. But uh, just the ability to message kids, change practice times, to see your roster, know who's in school and not in school that day. Uh, huge time saver for your coaches, and especially those coaches who are not teachers within a system or the building. Yeah, we've got this great uh, feature on there. It's, it's uh, communication from the sidelines and the coaches there as well. Huge feature. It functions off of the activities module, which is listed right here. Um, and the, the, again, it allows, like you were saying, coaches and advisors of activities who don't even work in your school or do work in your school to look up student information, to send email, text, and voice messages, um, send in communication messages as well. Uh, and the main thing is, right, it takes, again, the pressure off the athletic secretary or just the secretary in general to be sending all that information out. So that's a really great time saver as well. The more we can get people to do things on their own, families, students, coaches, advisors, the less pressure it takes off the office. Great. All and right. from a school administrator standpoint, it archives those messages. Yes, Unlike right. Remind and some of the other free apps that are great, but the advantage is we have an archive. We can uh, see <laughs> what was sent, when it was sent, who it was sent by. Yeah, that messaging log allows you if a family, you know, a parent says, I got this weird message from a coach. You can check that out. You don't have to go into the coach's cell phone or whatever. You can see that right in the messaging logs there as well. So great, Lynn. Um, Cheryl or Lois or Denise, did you have any other feature that saves you tons of time? Hi, it's Cheryl. I am going to uh, pick on the message center. I just think that uh, the scheduling of the opportunities, whether it be the phone call, the text, or the email, 
I, I just use it to the fullest, and that's as far as I think I've gotten with this software using something to the fullest. That, that's right. That's awesome. That's awesome. And uh, I appreciate that, Cheryl. Lois or Denise, do you have anything else you want to add? No, mine was, uh, you're on the Iowa side. I was in Minnesota, but if you go to Iowa, yep. and then like special education, so many times, you know, I'd be, Denise, how many people do we have in special education? And what are their IEPs? You can just go into the report yes. and pull that up. Uh, there's so many different reports that you, you can pull up in this area that will answer, um, you know, they different reports that need to be done throughout the year. And I can, I can pull what is needed in just a moment's time. And those reports are created for you. In a lot of other SSs, you need to create your own reports. In JMC, you want to run lunch reports, right? You go to lunch reports, and there's a long list of reports you can run, discipline, and so on and so forth as well. So um, that's great, Denise. Lois, did you have another one you want to add? No, I think we've kind of covered a lot of them. We've had a lot. You know, the last one I will say, and if anybody else has any things they want to add in, they sure can, um, is just, uh, and th this might not be like, there's two at the end I want to roll out. Number one, discipline. Just having your teachers send in electronic discipline records to the JMC office, it alerts the office. The office can come in, look at a record. They can process that record, automatically email the primary contact, divorced parents, they both get it, referring teacher, advisor, other. Now you can email a student as well, keeps everybody in the loop. My other feature that's a huge time saver is um, under attendance and reports, and it's the absent tardy letters. You can send out letters based on three absences, five absences, 10 absences. It takes a little time to set up the letter the first time. You have to watch a couple of videos, go through it. But the school that piled this for us, it was a school in Iowa. It was a, it was a larger middle school, like 800 kids or something like that. I said, how much time do you think it saved you at the end of the year? He said, the principal said, I bet it saved him 100 to 200 hours of work alone of just using the, the letters right inside JMC. It prints them every time. You can even email them if you want to. It's a really huge time time saver there as well. So that is totally awesome. Okay. I don't think there's, I, I think we heard from all of our panelists. I didn't see any questions, but I want to thank our panelists for sharing all of those great features. So let's wrap this up. JMC News and upcoming events. Sign up today. Look up November weekly webinars. We've got 1130 next week, understanding context and how they are utilized. That's going to be a shorter in, introduction to just the, the theory of how uh, contacts are used in JMC office. Because once you understand the theory, utilizing the context, also a big time saver. In two weeks, all about two-factor authentication, that is in JMC. Some people's um, insurance companies want to make sure you have uh, the ability to do two-factor authentication. So that's in there for you as well. Then 1214, becoming a JMC teacher pro, JMC teacher preferences in JMC office. I would sign up some of your lead teachers for that. And then 1221, preparing for new family enrollment, another big time saver as well. It's back now through March 2023. We're offering schools a discount to refer their friends. For every school you refer to JMC that signs up for our software, we'll give you each a $750 scholarship for your district questions, email our sales team for more details. We're looking for six passionate part-time clients service specialists in Nebraska, Minnesota, and Wisconsin, and Iowa, actually, I believe. As a client service specialist, you'll develop meaningful relationships with our users through communication, training, and support. In return, we offer a competitive salary and the opportunity to work remotely. Read the full job posting for further details and apply at hr at jmcinc.com. You can be social with us through Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn at online JMC or our blog jmcinc.com slash news. Thank you all for all you do. You know, we, I was telling actually one of my users this morning, one of my actually client service specialists, uh, we like providing a product that saves people time. Uh, that's what helps you to come to love JMC. And so we hope that helps give you more time to work with families, with students, with administrators, whatever it might be. And so we hope you all have a wonderful holiday. We appreciate you joining us for this. So thank you, Denise, Lois, Lynn, Cheryl, and Lisa. Have a great day and have a happy Thanksgiving.